welcome back to my channel. It's April Abel. Today I'm sharing with you a few of my little secrets on how I achieve silky smooth hair every single time. I have links to all the products that are used in this video in my description box down below. The real magical product I'm using in this video is the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine. This is the only product I found that works best for me when I want to achieve very soft and silky smooth hair that not only looks like it but feels like it too. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. It's important to start with a clean head of hair. Here, I towel dried my hair freshly out of the shower. I left my hair in the towel for I would say about 20 to 30 minutes while I did my makeup. I like doing this because by that time, my hair is drier but still damp enough to put the product in. So here's the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine. It comes in this green bottle, which is a leave-in conditioner you can find at most drugstores. So give it a little shake, then you want to go ahead and squeeze a liberal amount onto the palm of your hand, depending on how much hair you have. After you've determined how much product you need, you want to go ahead and massage the product evenly into each strand of your hair, like I'm doing here with my hands. I like to focus the product onto the ends of my hair because that's where it's most prone to be dry and get split ends. Here, I'm applying a little more onto the ends because I've noticed that they were still feeling a little rough. After evenly distributing the product all across her hair, it's pretty much ready to style. Sometimes when I don't feel like applying heat, I just leave it like this and it'll dry very nicely naturally on its own. But today I want to show you how I style it when I have enough time. First, I'm brushing out the tangles in my hair and letting the brush distribute the leave-in conditioner even more. So after I've brushed out all the tangles, I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair. I'll be doing four sections, bottom, middle, crown, and bangs. Sectioning off the bottom first, I'm going to clip up the rest so that they're out of the way. The final style is a part down the middle, so you see me splitting the bottom into two sections, right and left. Then I like to brush out my hair one more time before I dry and style it with my Revlon blow dry brush. This is an optional step because the Revlon blow dry brush is so efficient, but I like doing this so that I know I'm starting off without any tangles. I used to use a regular blow dryer, but I find that this is better because not only can I dry my hair, but also style it at the same time. So I go ahead and turn on the knob to high and start brushing my hair from the bottom and curling it as I go down. I keep doing this like so until the left is dry before moving on to the right. This blow dry brush takes a little getting used to so you want to play around and see which angles work best when you're handling it. But it does beat having to hold a blow dryer in one hand and a round brush on the other at the same time. After feeling that the sections are dry, I go ahead and clip the bottom so that they don't get mixed up with the upper sections I'm going to work with. For the middle, I like to divide it right above my eyebrows. So here you can see that my hair is naturally curly and it also dries very frizzy if I don't use the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine. So when I section off my hair like this, I dry the hairs closest to the frame of my face first so that they don't get frizzy before I get to it. The more you do this, the more you'll get used to twisting the blow dry brush into the direction you want your hair to flow. Now that this section is done, I'm going to clip them together with the bottom. Okay, we're almost done. Now I'm sectioning off the crown. This is the second to last section we're gonna work on before getting to the bangs. Remember to clip the bangs separately so that they don't get in the way. Just like the bottom and the middle, I'm splitting it into left and right sections. I'm switching the blow dry brush onto high again and brushing it from underneath the strands while twisting. So one thing I personally like to do when I'm working on the crown is that after it's done drying, I also like to dry the back part of it like I'm doing here. I find that doing this helps give a little more volume to that area. So I'm holding my hair up like so and just running the brush through. Second to last section finished. And now let's finally do bangs. This is always my favorite part because I know that I'm pretty much done from here. Again, I'm just starting with the sections closest to the frame of my face first so that they don't frizz up too quickly. As you can see, it was starting to get curly and frizzy already. I also 
also want to note, when using the blow dry brush, you might notice that it may be a little too hot at times. This Revlon blow dry brush does have adjustment knobs so that you can switch over to low, cool, or high. You want to get the job done, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable. Here I'm just feeling that the hair is already dry enough before moving on to the next step. Now the top and final section is done. We can take a look at the final result. Looks like it's fresh out of the salon. I love love using the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine right before styling my hair. It makes a huge difference. The Revlon blow dry brush definitely gave my hair a new dimension as well. It not only sped up my hair styling process, but it's also so easy to use. If you like the straight look, you can definitely leave it as is. Sometimes I like to put a little bit of wave into my hair, so I'm just doing that very quickly with my Conair Curling Iron. I'm going to speed up this process so I can show you the final results of my wavy hair. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how I create waves in my hair or my makeup look in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to film those for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me on April LaBelle. If this was helpful, please like the video, share it with anyone who may find it helpful, and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the notification bell below so you never miss a video. It truly helps me out a bunch. Again, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!